gotta we gotta intro this, don't we? Yeah. <laughs> cool. <laughs> Forgetting that. We're doing great. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of We Were Here. It's me and Cam. Say hello, Cam. Hello, Cam. <laughs> I was waiting for it. I and, really uh, don't like that at all. <laughs> as you can hear, he is sounds like he's on the other side of a walkie-talkie because that's essentially what this game is. Woo! That's exactly what's happening right now. And you guys can hear that Ryan sounds like he's on the other end of walkie-talkie because that's how walkie-talkies work, you dork. Yeah. We are playing a game. If you haven't seen the last two episodes, please go watch them because this will make no sense if you haven't. Yeah. We are in a castle trying to help each other find our way out. Um, and last time, Ryan froze to death. So... Yeah, as you can see on my screen. <laughs> Sorry, Ryan. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's fine. But I'm not going to let that happen this time. Like, I let him drown. I really think that you're in the more dangerous situation than I am. I, I really I'm am. In a room with books. <laughs> yeah, I have so many places where I can just die. And I think that's the nature of you just being the explorer. The... Yeah, that's the name of the game. So yeah. we're going to try uh, this for a third time. You ready, Ryan? Here we go. Let's do it. All right, so now he can't hear me, and I can only talk to him through the... the if, you, if you missed the other episode, I can only talk to him through the walkie-talkie. So we can only talk to each other at, like, one, you know, at, at whatever time. It's really interesting. It's a fascinating game mechanic that has been kind of crazy. So, yeah, here we go. All right. All right, I am heading outside and about to freeze. Over. Already? Oh. Okay, listen, I'm not about to freeze right now, but I'm uh, I'm in the freezing area, so here we go. Ryan, I have a disc here that says world's greatest chess move. Over. I'm going to try putting it in the projector. Oh. That sounds like a great plan. Over. Why? Well, I'm not doing this generator thing well. Generator. Boom. One. Boom. Two. And boom. Three. Here we go. Okay. And flip this. All right, the generator is up and running. That might be how your projector works. I don't know. Over. Okay, we totally failed this last time, so we're Roger trying to Roger that. that thank you. Um, I'm trying to get it to work right now. Over. Ten four. Over. Yay. It looks like I need another piece to make this work. I don't know where the other piece is. Over. Good times. Over. Always, bro. With us, always. Over. This is very true. Also, I might freeze, so that's the thing. Over. Roger that. Uh, looking to freeze quicker. Over. That would be fabulous. Thanks so much. Over. Oh, oh, Ryan, I got it to work. I got it to work. I got the projector to work. Over. I'm supported. Over. Okay, beautiful. Uh, walk me through what's happening. Over. Uh, the, the pawn right in front of the queen moves forward too. Over. Okay, got it. Over. Uh, then the uh, bishop on your right moves to uh, the fourth. Uh, hold up, I need to move the black pawns first. Is there a move for the black pawns? Over. Did you catch that? Sorry. Oh my gosh, I'm an idiot. I wasn't talking into the walkie-talkie. Move the black pawn opposite over, uh, forward. Oh. Okay, and then what's next? Over. Move the bishop uh, on your right to the fourth position forward uh, on the left. Oh. Uh, everything went back. Over. Roger, working on it. Okay, so move the white pawn in front of the queen forward to. Oh. Okay, got that. Over. I think I had the, the queen and the king mixed up, so I think we'll try this, this time. Over. Roger that. Now move the black pawn opposite of that white pawn that you just moved forward uh, towards the white pawn, too. Over. Okay, got it. Over. Okay. You're going to try to checkmate the black pieces. Is what's happening. Over. Gotcha. That makes sense. Okay, over. Okay, now you're going to move the bishop uh, to the right of the queen. Do you see it? Over. Yes, over. Move that bishop to the fourth position forward, diagonally to the left. Oh. Okay, fourth, like, oh, hold up. Hold up, never mind, I think I got it. It should be C4, over. Oh. 
Okay, that's that move is not working. Everything is getting back. To, I'm I'm almost frozen again. Okay, don't panic. Uh, move the pawns forward, and we'll try the bishop move one more time. Yeah, no, nothing worked. Nothing worked there. Okay, try moving that uh, white pawn forward too again, because that white and black pawn moving is working, correct? Yeah, but the pawn moving has been working every time. That's what's weird. That is very interesting. Okay. Um, are you moving the pawn opposite of the... If you have the two central pieces, that's the king and the queen. The queen is the one on the right. Are you moving the pawn in front of the right one? Over? Yes, I am. Over. You're moving it forward too, correct? Yeah, correct. Okay. It should be on E4, and then the black pawn opposite it should be on E5. Over. Okay, I think that's right. So the two pawns should be facing off in the middle, right? That's correct. Over. Well, the thing is, I'm, I'm moving exactly what you're saying. It's just everything is moving back immediately after, so I think we might be missing something else. I'm just not sure what it is. Over. Now hold on for just a second. Hello everyone, it's me, Quarantine Editor Ryan, here to save you some time. Also, I have a burrito and it's great. That's a really good burrito. So at this point, Cam and Ryan are trying to figure out what exactly is going wrong with the directions. Now as the editor, I'll just tell you, they're mixing up the king and the queen. So this entire time, Cam has been swapping the king and the queen uh, and telling Ryan the directions based off of that. And then Ryan's just trying to follow the directions based off of that and has no idea. So this is just a problem. It's just a, it's just a huge problem. But Cam, king, queen, really. I promise I'm kidding, I'm not actually mad at you, but come on. <laughs> so needless to say, Ryan died again. Dang it. Oh, that's dang so. It. You're so close. Yeah, like I've been doing the exact moves that you're saying. It's just not working. And then they just kept going. Uh, this is the moment that everything started to make sense. Now move it in a diagonal line across the white squares. Uh, four squares, you should move it once, twice, three times, over. Wait, you're saying the white squares? Uh, this one's on the black squares. Over. There you go, boys. Proud of you for communicating effectively. Oh, then... Have I been saying left of the queen this whole time? Over. No, you've been saying right of the queen, but I don't know if you... I, I don't know which direction you're looking at the pieces from, and I don't know if you're choosing the queen or the king. Over. Finally. <laughs> uh, I can't move that bishop until I move other pawns out. So am I moving the pawn out in front of the queen or the king? Over. And now we come to the moment where they figure out what the problem was. You were choosing the tall, spiry bishop on your, le on your left. Over. Okay, got it. So should I move the pawn out that's in front of the shorter, more stubby person? Yes. Over. That's correct. That's the queen, I believe. Over. So now, Ryan is starting to understand the issues. Cam is mixing up the king and the queen. So he decides, I'm going to just kind of mess with it a little bit and see if I can figure out exactly what he's saying. Roger that. This is a very specific set of moves that will let you checkpoint your opponent. Over. Yeah, I, I see what they're trying to do. Uh, I just have not been able to get it to work. Oh, wait. I got the... Okay, I got the bishop to work. Okay, we're good. Okay, uh, go ahead and tell me what the next one is. Over. Awesome, that's awesome. Okay, I'm watching it now. Hang on a second. Over. Your next move is to move the black pawn um, on the king's second from the end on the king's side out one space. Over. Okay, I chose the wrong one. Um, make sure you're getting the king and queen correct. So the queen is the taller one, the king is the shorter one. Over. Okay, I have not been able to get this to work every time. <laughs> this is annoying. Okay, one sec. Okay, if you turn to face the black pieces, the pawn that you're moving is the second from your left. Second from the left, you say? Yes. Okay, I got it. Over. Roger, I'll give you the next move. Hang on one second. Be quick, I'm gonna freeze. Okay, the next step is you move the white king uh, diagonal two white squares. Uh, so if you're facing the white pieces, you're moving it diagonally to the left towards the black pieces two white squares, over. That piece is the queen. You're mixing up the king and the queen every time. That's our problem, over. 
I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm just clapping because I'm, I'm excited. That they're actually making progress. <laughs> Finally, they did it. Oh, so proud of them. I won't ruin your experience any longer. Uh, enjoy the rest of the video. You are going to move oh. the night. Oh, man. Dang it. Yeah. Okay, we can do this. Yeah, we we're getting closer. This. Yeah, the taller one is the queen. Remember that the taller one is the Thank queen. Thank you. Well, I actually only have, like, symbols. But I'm also needy because I was watching the queen move and being like, oh, yeah, that's the king. Even though the king can't move that way. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's okay. My fault. okay. Okay, we're getting there. Whoo, we got this. Okay, we got this. Okay, we can totally get this to work. Uh, this is going to be interesting. Let me fire up the generator for you and we will get right back into it. Over. Last one. Boom. First try and that. Generator should be up and running for you. Over. How's it going on your end, over? I have just gotten the bishop out. Uh, I don't remember what is next. Oh, wait, no, yes, I do. Okay, so I think I'm almost at the spot that we were at, over. Roger that, were you moving the black pawn, over? Yeah, I just moved the queen on the white side out, over. Roger that, I'm watching you for the next move, over. Tan four. Okay, this is going better. This is going better already. This is going way better already. Okay, after the queen, you're going to move the black knight on the queen side. As you're facing the black, it's the knight on the left. You're going to move it out and to uh, the right. Uh, come forward to and then to the right, to your right one. Over. Is it toward the center of the board or to the edge of the board? Over. Toward the center of the board. Over. Okay, got it. That's good. Over. Okay, this is the last move, I think. Hang on, let me see what it is. Over. 10-4. Last move. Come on, please. How is your blood temperature? Over. It's so oh, it, it's still okay. We're getting a little chilly though. Over. Roger that. You're just gonna move the white queen all the way forward until it takes out the pawn and black or checkmate the black. Over. Got it. There it is. There it is. Doors open. I'm gonna warm myself up. Woo! Over. Okay, this is interesting. We have, in this room, quite a few things going on. Um, so, uh, yeah. So we have a compass rose in the middle of the room again, uh, which means we have pressure points, or pressure plates in front of me, uh, and there's a book here with some symbols, uh, symbols that we've seen previously. Over. Got it. This is for sure where the books come in. The books were not for that previous thing. Over. That would make sense. Would you like me to read off the symbols for you? Over. Yes, please. Please do that. Okay, so there's five of them in total. The first one is the cat with the, the stick arms. Roger that. Next. Next one looks like a dismembered pair of legs with a little T on top of it. Over. I found it. Over. Uh, is it? Is the next symbol a, like, kind of pie-looking symbol with a hook and crosshairs at the top? Oh. Yes, that's it. And then there's the guy with his arms raised, kind of like a cactus. Uh, yeah, the that there's that one, and the last one is the house with the hair. Over. The house with the hair? Oh, interesting. Okay, roger that. Oh. Alright, Ryan, I found our book. Oh. Oh boy! All right, read me off the instructions here. Over. Roger that. Try not to get you killed. Oh. Whew. That's the plan. Okay. This says starting in the far west. Are you in the far west? Over. Yes, I am. Over. Roger that. Okay, listen carefully. It says take two steps northbound, head east twice. Over. Uh, reset me. Hold up. Go ahead and tell me one more time. Sorry. I, I took one extra step. Over. Roger that. So starting in the far west, take two steps northbound and head east twice. Over. Oh no, I just realized since it reset me, the symbols are different. Uh, oh dear. Over. <laughs> Roger that. Over. What symbols do you have? Over. All right, so now we have the non-stick figure cat. Um, it looks fat, but it has the cat head again. 
it's the penis symbol that you so enjoy uh and then it's a, a curly q hook thing with a circle on the top it's not it's or it's like an oval on the top it's not the crosshairs one uh and then it's it's kind of just weird and curly and weird uh and then there's the guy with the it's the same symbol that we had the first time on uh, as the fourth one and then a, a robot thing on a boat i think over <laughs> roger that let me find that book go okay oh boy here we go that's annoying that it resets you every time that you fail huh. i have found the the book over sweet okay what are these instructions Woo! over okay so starting from the far east over are you in the far east over yes i am over okay don't do these instructions right away because there's things like there's things out of order in the actual stanza so wait till i finish before we go through with it over. okay 10-4 Okay, so the first one says, starting from the far east, after moving two steps north, head two steps towards the west. Over. Okay, I'm going to try that real quick. Over. Roger that. Let me know. Yeah, so apparently that didn't work. I uh, don't know why it didn't work, um, but I think we got to try it again. Over. Roger that. Let me know your symbols. Over. All right, symbols are Thin Cat, the penis you so love, the crosshairs with the curly Q underneath it, uh, a guy with an extra leg and diamond hands and head, and then uh, a little circle-headed robot in a boat. Could you read that off one more time? Over. Yeah, stick figure cat, uh, your penis, uh, crosshairs with curl, the diamond-handed and headed guy, and circle-headed robot with, like, a dress on and a boat. Over. Roger that. Uh, the first symbol is a thin cat, you said? Over? That is correct. And, uh, uh which penis are we ref Is it thicker, or is it, uh... Actually, no, they're, they're both... Oh man, I really did not like it where this is going. Um, oh! <laughs> tell me if this sounds right. Thin cat, uh, T penis, uh, curly hair, crosshair symbol, diamond heads and diamond uh, arms, and robot in a dress and a boat. Over. That looks right. Yep, over. Roger that. I found our book. Stand. Hooray! Okay. We're back in the Far East again. This is after moving two steps north, head two steps towards the west. So take two steps, uh, wait, do you know what your direction is? Over. I'm facing north, um, and the steps lead right up to the north side, over. Okay. Or the, the south side, sorry. After moving two steps north, head two steps towards the west, over. Okay, sorry, I start from the south side. I, that, I was wrong about that. Sorry, over. You're fine. Over. Okay, so if I'm starting from the south side here, are there instructions for that? Over. Uh, well, the, the symbols that you gave me uh, correspond to this book. Over. Okay, go ahead and read off what the book says in its full entirety, and I'll see what I can do with it. Over. Roger that. It says, starting from the far east after moving two steps north, head two steps towards the west. Move two steps towards the north, take a step east before heading forward once more. Okay, I think I've got it. Let me see if I can reset. I am so sorry. I just don't know what else we're supposed to do. Let me try this. Okay. And I was immediately reset. Okay, cool. I don't understand what is happening. Uh, the, the symbols are the same for some reason. Over. Roger that. Okay. Um, symbols are the same. That's super interesting. Uh, do you get immediately reset at what point? Over. Uh, just at the beginning. Over. Just as soon as you move? Over? Yeah, for some reason, every square that I've 
tried to walk on. It's worked once where I've walked on the on a couple correct squares, but they then stabbed me with spears. So yeah, over. Ah, got it. Okay. Uh, so <laughs> two steps to the north is what this says. Can you head two steps north and see if that works? If not, I'll try a different book. Oh. Okay, I think this is actually working this time. Uh, so it's two steps to the north, two steps to the west, correct? Over. Two steps to the west, correct. Over. Okay, then what's after that? Over. Ooh, this is exciting. Okay, uh, it says, l listen to this whole thing. Move two steps towards the north, take a step east before heading forward once more. Over. Okay, two steps to the north. I feel very much in danger right now. To the east and back to the north. I made it. We're good. We're good. We're good. I got an achievement. Over. I did too. It was like, is that mother? I don't know what that was. Okay. Uh, I'm in a very strange room. Uh, let me explore a little bit here. Over. Okay. This is really interesting. Uh, there are clothes in the corners like on racks and then there's these two like uh side rooms that have these like cardboard cutouts i'm not sure and then there's a trap door in the front center that i guess i could open i don't know if i can open this let me try to uh, it won't let me open it and then there's a bunch of like spinny lever things a couple other levers and a thing that's called the blood light i don't know uh, hopefully that helps. Over. Roger that. Uh, I just got a new door, a new hallway that looks hella sketchy. Uh, please pray for me. I'm going in. Over. Prayers are inbound. Uh, don't die. Over. All right. Uh, the door closed behind me, and I got chills all up and down my body. So that Ooh. was very fun. Oh boy. Uh, I am now Ladies in an. And oh, oh, I'm in an amphitheater. Welcome Someone's to talking to me. Lights. I can hear it. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to tonight's feature show, is what it's saying. I, I heard him say that. I, I, I heard that. That's weird. I think I'm the tech people. Over. Grief that scared the hell out of me. Um. Uh. Uh, the door's open for me. I'm going up onto the stage. Uh, there is blood on the stage here. If there is blood, and I also have a trap door that I cannot open. Over. Is that trap door above you? Over. Uh, no, it's below me. Oh. Okay, mine is two. I have a thing that's called the blood light, and I have a scene one switch, and I have a bunch of swirly things. Uh, or they're, they're all these little control things. Maybe we start flipping levers and see what happens. Over. Ryan, I think you're below me. Over. Interesting. Um, I, I also see, yeah, some other random stage things. Let me, I'm going to start, I'm going to flip this blood light switch and you tell me what happens. Over. Roger that. I'm going to watch the blood on the stage. Oh. Okay, there is a red light on the stage now. Oh. Okay, cool. I did that. Um, I'll turn it off right now. Uh, and I'm going to flip the scene one switch. Okay, ready? I'm ready. Let the show begin. Over. All right. Scene one switch has been flipped. Nothing's happening. Over. Interesting. Okay. Let me start flipping some of these levers in the middle. Over. Dude, I just, I just turned on a record player. Hang on. That is so creepy sounding. Over. Of life and a light came on. <gasps> oh man, and I have a really creepy bird thing in the corner staring at me. Over. Oh. Uh, I don't know what that means, and I'm flipping a bunch of levers, and I don't know what it means. Over. Uh, something moved behind me that was, uh, oh, the blood light is on. I think that you did that. Um, something moved, like, in the cardboard cutouts behind me when you flipped the switch. Over. That is terrifying. I am, yeah, I, I, I flipped the blood light. Um, there are, I don't know what this all means. I'm flipping levers up here and I don't know what they do. Do you see anything that has 
five or six different switch things in either direction. There's arrows on mine. Over. Five or six switch things in either direction. Uh, no, but I can hear things moving if you're flipping switches. Oh, oh, something just came out. Uh, I see a, a, a columns, columns. Oh. They just stayed there. Over. Okay, I think I did that. Um, I think I see what these are. Uh, I have a bunch of these stage cutouts. I'm behind the stage, it looks like. Um, that's really interesting. I have all these cardboard cutout things that are all on either side, and I can use these switches to move them in, I guess. Over. Uh, Ryan, this bird thing is a puppet, and it's moving closer to me. Uh every little so often and it's really freaking me out so let's hurry up and finish this up that sounds like a great plan okay over uh start flipping some more switches let's see what happens oh something else is moving over yeah that's me as well i'm trying to just try to rotate these to get these all in somehow i guess over oh something else just came out a princess came out over that was also me over Oh, and a knight just came out too. Over. Once again, also me. Something else is coming out now, I think. Oh, uh, villagers came out on the third track. Oh. Is there like uh, an order they should be in? Over. Uh, probably. Can you see tracks where you are? Over, like which track they're on? Uh, I can't see them currently, but I can go and look. I think. Over. Say that one more time. I can't see necessarily where the tracks are. I can see kind of the the spots that they're at. I don't really know. Over. Roger that. The bird just mo It is a, officially a man in a cloak with eyes that is staring at me. Over. It's not a bird. That's absolutely terrifying. I think he was the guy I was seeing running around in the caves. Over. Probably. Um, it says there once was a castle filled with life. That's what the record player says. Um, there's the knight and the columns are now clashing and running into each other. Oh. Okay, let me move them out. Over. Roger that. Okay. They just moved out. Oh. Okay, is there anything you want me to move into place over? What scene we're supposed to construct here? Oh. Uh, well, what does the, what does the record player say again? Over. It says there once was a castle filled with light. Over. Okay. Um, let me try getting the castle out there and all the people out there. Over. Roger that, please. Right. The bird. The bird man moves closer every once in a while, and my vision gets dim. Over. Okay, you're experiencing a similar thing that I experience every time, and that's uh, he's about to kill you. So that's cool. Over. Roger that. Uh. So we don't have much time. Over. Okay, are things centered? Over. Uh, the castle is now centered. Over. I'm gonna try scene one. Over. Are the people centered? Over. Uh, the people are not centered. Over. They need to move a little bit more to my left. Am I pulling the right one? Over. Uh, no, you're not. Oh, the, the people are now centered. Oh. There once was a okay, we got it. Over. Okay, uh, double blood light just came on. Over. Double blood light? Double blood light. Okay, what's the next one? Over. He is very close now. What's the next stage direction? Over. And it and there lived a king with his wife. Over. Okay, sounds good. I think this bird guy can only move one bit closer before I die. Oh, uh, the king is now out. Over. Okay. Palms are very sweaty. Not relevant, but uh, I do feel like commenting on it. Oh. Okay, what's out there right now? Over. 
uh, we have villagers, the king, and the queen. Over. Okay, what am I moving? Over. You are moving the king with his sword out. Over. Okay. Uh, just trying to figure out which one is which. Over. Roger that. Over. Uh, you are moving the queen. Over. Oh. Uh, the, he is now on the edge of the stage. About to kill me. Over. Okay, one sec here. I'm so sorry. I don't think we're going to make this one. Uh, so you might die in a second here. Over. Yeah, there it is. The I marionette. Died. That's creepy. Ugh, that is creepy. So Dude, yeah, you're experiencing... Terrifying. Yeah, you're experiencing the Ugh. pressure of the near-death scenarios now. <laughs> yes, I know. Lovely. Yeah, this oh, is cool, I though. I like that. I think it we're figuring cool. out what it is, though. Let's uh, let's end it here. We're gonna leave it on a cliffhanger, folks. <laughs> yeah, leave it on the cliffhanger. I like that Woo. idea. Uh, if you guys enjoyed this, please check out episode four that will be coming very soon. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to me and Ryan, uh, our channel descriptions are in the description below. Um, our channel links to the description uh, are in the descriptions below. Please go check that out. Leave a like so that we get we know you guys like it. Uh, tune in. It's gonna be fun. It's gonna be great. Any final words, Ryan. Uh, I love you all, and you all need to subscribe, and we're all going to die. Woo! <laughs> Good times. Okay, bye. We love you all.